trailer was most unhelpful. <laughs> the trailer was most unhelpful. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, there's a lot. I couldn't. It took me a while to process even what happened at the end of Stormblood because it was a lot. And interestingly enough, we're in that situation which I kind of haven't felt since a realm reborn into Heaven's Ward, which is I think a lot of the stuff they set up in Stormblood isn't going to pay off until way way later in shadowbringers like jeff i don't think jeff's going to be a part of what we're doing here in this other plane of existence i don't think that's going to pay off xenos th there's a few things here okay 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 <clears throat> there's a few things here that i want to talk about a little bit i want to talk i want to talk about these a little bit because it's really interesting to me I'm not going to look at chat. Okay, I, I, hold on. I, I know there's a hype train going, and I fucking love you guys. I'm minimizing you for a second. <clears throat> okay, chat's gone. All right. <clears throat> this gives me, and I, I hate to use this phrase, but bear with me on it. Bear with me on it. A Warlords of Draenor vibe. Now, that raises certain questions as to how much better the storytelling in Final Fantasy XIV is. Because we have left our home world. We're gone. We're somewhere else. We're in Smurf world which is being eradicated by light. And we've seen that before. Or at least we've heard about it with the Warriors of Darkness. That's what happened to their world. Everybody died. 90% of where we are is already in uninhabitable or dead. And only 10% of this world remains, which I assume it serves two purposes. One, the place is about to die. I assume that light is spreading even further. And two, it means they don't have to create a whole new planet for an expansion, which makes sense. Now, <clears throat> from what I remember, and I, I, I'm iffy on this part, but I've got the general gist, is that Heidelin created, I think it's 12 or 13 stars, different worlds. And we're on the first one. And there are different ones. There's the one where Midgard Soma came from. There's the one where the Warriors of Darkness got turned into the Void. Uh, and now we're on the first one. Now, for some reason, which I... For some reason, according to the Smurf, this one is in the most important... Something like that. It's the most important one, according to the Smurf, but it is his home one, so... Uh, <laughs> whether he feels that way, because that's where he lives, I don't know. Um... Something like that. Now, uh, we're going... Now, in the trailer, it showed repeats of what happened on our world. On our... They call them reflections. So, they're like... So, they could literally be mirrored versions of every single place. They're, they're practically identical in terms of what happens. Which means then... Although the intro to Shadowbringers, the first person we spoke to had never heard of a place called Uldar, but it did show Thancred rescuing a child, Minfilia, which did happen on our world, where it happened a while ago. Which makes me think that there's also some sort of time travel involved in what's happening here. Because that's what happened on our world. It happens during Shadowbringers at some point, because it's in the trailer, which makes me think that some kind of time travel has occurred as well, or we're going to have to travel back in time in an almost Avengers Endgame style to correct whatever has caused the light to start engulfing this world. So I think something like that is kind of happening in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but one thing I'm really interested in, getting back to it, Whatever the actual main story of Shadow brings off, I'm no doubt I'm miles out because I haven't got any information really of what's going on. But what I want to know is, and what I'm really, really interested in is, while we're dealing with whatever this is, whatever this shit is, what's happening on our home world? Because what I don't want to have happen, and I would be a little disappointed, not ultra disappointed, but a little disappointed, is if everything on our home world has come to a stop while we're not there all the scions are gone we're gone xenos at the end of starblood has reactivated the black rose factory what's happening on our home world because i would as as gross and as genocidal as this sounds i would prefer that when we get back to our world 
we're fucked. <laughs> we're absolutely fucked. While we were fannying about over in Smurfland, they just fucked Eorzea, like, so hardcore. But I, mean, I assume because we can move back and forward, because they got obviously allow us to go back to our world, um, then, you know, we might see the fruits of that. And I kind of wonder where they're going to do... Which happened in Heaven's Ward a lot is where they staggered the MSQ. So you did a bit over here and then they were like, yeah, this is important with the Dragon Song War, but we kind of need to deal with what's going on over here because it's not like things have stopped over there. So we need to keep going backwards and forwards and doing those kinds of things and trying to manage both of these things. Um, that's something I'm really keeping my eye on is whether or not they'll just forestall what's happening at our world while we deal whatever is happening over here. Uh, I don't want to see how that plays out because as we know in other MMOs that are going named, is generally speaking, they pretend like the rest of the world doesn't exist while you're dealing with current problem. They just go like, oh, well, <laughs> it can't pos the world can't possibly keep, the, the, the clock can't keep ticking if you're not present. It's only if you're there, the clock keeps ticking. Uh, and therefore, you kind of feel out of it in many ways because, you know, it's unless, <laughs> unless, unless you're there, the clock stops. Time comes to a complete standstill. Um, so that, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. But I do want to watch the trailer again because... Right, uh, uh, this is not stalling. I, I, I really, I would like to lay down our theory now and then see how wrong I am. Because <laughs> I'm probably really wrong. I'm probably really wrong, but I would like to lay down my theories at the start before we get into this. I would like to do that so I can kind of... Because we get told to become the warrior of darkness in this trailer, don't we? We do. We get told we should become the warrior of darkness. Yeah, we do get told that. I'm sure. I had this way too loud yesterday. So let's uh, let's go here. Okay. All right. Okay. The end of Stormblood. Yes. All right. Right, this is fan theory time, which I'm sure you guys did for months. How many years have come and gone since that day? That's an interesting line. Which indicates some form of time travel. How many years have come and gone since that day? We don't know. Okay. How many years have I waited for this moment? Was he talking about his fight with Xenos or where we are in Shadowbringers? Hard to tell. That stood alone against the storm. Wait, who's talking? How many years have come and gone since that day, since the one who stood against the storm of blood? Is it the Smurf guy? I can't remember his voice offhand. That has to be Smurf Boy. All right, that has to be Smurf Boy. So years have passed? Potentially? Have we Gordon Freeman in some way? Have we been frozen? Or did it take us a while to get to where we are? Or could it mean in reverse? Hmm. Right, this is us on the new world.
No fight left to fight. No fight left to fight. No life left to live. And what in the fuck is that? Like a guardian of Hydaelyn, maybe? Or is this... Are they going for a twist on the angel idea that the angelic symbol is actually a specter of death? Because it comes with the light, which we know is bad. The Calamity. So the Calamity's imminent here. But this is this is Matoya and she's young. And I gotta guess that's a Rianje, but he looks like he works at a brothel. Is that a Rianje? It has to be, right? But why is he like a Gwent player? Is he a gimp in the past? Why is he wearing that dog collar? We may accept this fate or defy it, but we cannot deny it. Deny? I am not wont to run from. Man, I'm so sexually conflicted now, Matoya, because she's going to be hot as fuck in this expansion. Yeah, we know. We know. My troubles. We know. That's Astinian. Well, this is gonna. Oh, is it not Astinian? Is it the first Azure Dragoon? Could be. Or is that just me as a different job? Oh, it's me. Never mind. That's me. Does she ha hmm, I can't tell. Does she got a sight there? They still can seem kind of whitewashed. I will hold the line. I do like the idea of actual fat cats. Like <laughs> it's a little on the nose, but I do like it. Fucking chubby lovers. <laughs> Is Thancred age appropriate for us? I think he is. He's not younger, is he? Midphilia's younger, but Thancred isn't. This town certainly. Oh, he does look young. Oh, in fact, he actually's got both his eyes. That's not our Thancred. Has changed. Yeah, he's got both his eyes. And not at all for the better. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Minfilia. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know at all. <laughs> There's no way you can figure this out. Everything here means something, doesn't it? What is this in the Crystal Tower? I feel like we're in the Matrix. What is this? Those are all the reflections, I think. Is that Matoya? Is this is the Crystal Tower a viewer of all the reflections? 
Now I'm starting to think of Lost. And they had the lighthouse that could see where the island was moving. But this tragedy, greater even than the seventh umbral calamity. Oh, that's Smurfy. Become the warrior of darkness. Become the warrior of darkness. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? There's some time travel somewhere.